Hey there Aries and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your mid-month reading. This is going to be a mid-month for November 14th through the 30th and we're going to take a look at your past, present and near future energies. Also Aries, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. Just send me an email and of course if you enjoy what I do and you want to say thank you and show your gratitude, Donation link is below as well. Any and every amount for donations is greatly appreciated. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. Okay, main energy for this reading is the Fool. The Fool is a beautiful new energy. It's like you're basically starting fresh, clean slate. Um, it's a new beginning. It's a really, really good energy, although there is a little bit of risk involved as well, and we'll see exactly what that's about. In the recent past, you get the Knight of Wands, the Magician, and the Knight of Swords. These two energies are go-getters. So in the recent past, you were either manifesting to be in this energy, or you really were working and putting in, you know, doing the work, doing what you need to do in the recent past to create your manifestation here in the 3D world. So again, I'm going to clarify in a minute, but either way, in the recent past, like this is like, let's go, let's do this, let's make this happen. Um, very driven energy. In the current situation, you get the moon, the two of pentacles, and the ten of cups. You're focused on happiness, true emotional happiness, okay? But you're a little bit confused because there's something that you're not looking at here. Now, either you're burying your head in the sand and you're refusing to look at this, or the universe is like, hey, Aries, it's not time for you to see this quite yet because divine timing is at play here. Again, I'm going to clarify and see. In the near future, you get the Four of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Three of Swords. You're moving away from heartbreak. You're moving away from unhappiness. You're moving away from emotional pain that maybe you really don't want to address. You don't want to look at. You don't really want to kind of, you know, um, admit that it's there. You do have several options going for you here in the near future. You're not interested in any of them, though. Let's see what's going on. Super vague reading, just like... On the surface, I can't tell if this is a love reading, business, like what is going on here? So let's clarify. We'll start off by clarifying the Fool, which is the main energy for this reading. The Fool is clarified by the Three of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Two of Swords. You're waiting for this brand new beginning. You know at some point you're going to be able to have this new beginning, wipe the slate clean, completely, completely new energy, right? Like logically, you know this. It's almost like um, an energy of like, you know the sun is going to rise tomorrow. Yeah, maybe you don't know exactly when it's going to rise, but you know that the sun is going to rise tomorrow. And that's what you're showing me here. You're like, I know that I'm going to have this new beginning. I know I'm, no, I'm going to be able to like wipe the slate clean, start over, start from scratch. I just don't know exactly when. Um, it is a matter of time here. I want to say, you know what? No, I'm not going to say that. We're going to clarify and then we'll get to that. Let's take a look at the recent past. I want to see what the Knight of Wands is for you in the recent past. Knight of Wands is clarified by the Hangman, the Eight of Swords, and the Lovers. There is a deep soul connection showing up here for you in the recent past. Things aren't moving, though. Things are stuck. You're sitting here spending a lot of time in your head trying to figure out how to get things to move, how to get them to move forward, how to essentially kind of light that spark up again. I don't know if you're the one that lost the spark or it's the spark that was just lost in this connection, but you're showing me like I'm spending a lot of time trying to figure out how do I reignite this? How do I bring the fire back? How do I bring the passion back? And again, when I say you're spending a lot of time, you're really thinking about this. Like you are just in your head going over this over and over and over again. I could do this. I could do that. What if I do this? What if I do that? Um, Nothing's actually happening here in the recent past, though. Nothing is happening. Nothing's moving. Things are stuck. Interesting. I wonder what happened. Let's take a look at the magician in the recent past here. Magician is clarified by the Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. You're manifesting a new beginning in love here. That's what you want. You're showing me things are moving very, very slowly. They feel stuck. It literally feels like the energy, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's moving. You're like, I want the energies to pick up. I want this to go faster. Um, 
This is the slowest moving energy in the entire tarot deck, and this is like, let's go. So you're definitely manifesting things moving here towards this new beginning in love, towards things happening for you in the recent past. But because you're manifesting it, it's letting me know that you don't quite have it yet. Um, again, at least in the recent past. Hmm. Let's take a look at the Knight of Swords. I wonder what happened. Like, why are things stuck here? Why is nothing happening? Let's take a look at the Knight of Swords in the recent past. The Knight of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Three of Swords. You get the Three of Swords in the same row in the near future. Your heart's just not allowing yourself to, to feel. What I mean by that is you're showing me like, I want to work on getting through this emotional pain. I want to work on like processing this emotional pain that I'm carrying with me, but you're very closed off and you're not, your heart's not in it. You're emotionally disconnected. Emotional pain necessarily means that you have to go through the feelings, go through the emotions to get to the pain and really work through it. What you're showing me here in the recent past is not only are you closed off, right? Um, you're not allowing yourself to feel the feeling. So it's almost like you want to like reason your way or think your way through this emotional pain without actually having to feel the feelings um, in order to heal them. They're too painful here in the recent past. I don't know what it is that you don't want to touch, what this emotional pain is all about, but you're literally showing me like you want to work through the pain without feeling anything. It's, it's almost like... I don't even know how to explain this, but it's like you want to feel your way through something without feeling anything. You're like, let me work through this pain, but numb me. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way in the recent past. Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to see what the moon is in the current situation. The moon is clarified by the Knight of Swords, which you just got, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Swords. You really do want to heal things in this connection. You want to heal things. You want to really fix things because you want to reconcile with this person. But there's something you're not willing to look at, and I feel like it's this emotional pain. I don't know what happened between you and this person, but water has, like, there's water under this bridge, right? There's some emotional baggage here, and you're almost in an energy of, like, let's just sweep it under the rug. Let's pretend like there's no emotional pain here. Let's pretend like everything's fine. Let's heal things. Let's fix things. Let's reconcile. Again, it's, it's like you're coming into the situation where you're like, okay, I just want you back. I just want this back and that'll fix everything. No, it won't. Something caused this separation. Something caused this emotional pain. And by ignoring it, it doesn't make it go away. But that's kind of the energy that you're showing me here. And again, could be you, could be your person. Take it as it resonates. You just kind of want to like skim past the difficult part and just get back to the happy reconciliation part and be like, yay, we're healed, we're fixed. No, no. Let's take a look at the two of pentacles in the current situation. Two of pentacles is clarified by the page of wands, the magician, which you got in the same row in the recent past, and the knight of wands, which you also got in the recent past. You're showing me that you're a little bit confused, right? You're a little bit confused here about what do I do? How do I get that spark back? You don't just want the spark back. You don't just want like a little glimmer of the spark. You're like, I'm manifesting this, like literally picking up and happening very, very, very quickly. Like, the, uh, let's, this is just an example. Let's pretend you and your person aren't talking. Um, we're not talking. I want us the second that, you know, I text them, they text me back. And then immediately it's like zero to 60. We're back together. We've reconciled. Everything's good. We're moving forward. Again, it doesn't really work that way because you're showing me like I'm a little bit confused about how to make this happen, um, which in all reality, like... <laughs> Can you make this happen? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, right? Like, you know this connection better, but you're literally showing me you want to go from the page to the night. So you want this little, whether it's texting, whether it's whatever this little spark that you and your person have, you want it to just go like pff, straight into like a big bonfire. You want to just have it explode in a positive way. I don't know. This is, this is a little bit Delulu Aries. I'm going to be honest. It's kind of like not only do you not want to deal with the problems, you also just want things to just kind of like pick right back up where we left off like there's no issues. I don't know if this is you or your person, though. I can't tell. Let's, okay. Ten of Cups in the current situation is clarified by the Chariot, the Devil, and the King of Wands. This is you. 
you just want to move past this. You're showing me, I just want to skim through all the difficult parts. I want to get to the happiness part. And again, remember I said Delulu? Yeah, the devil is showing up here, which is letting me know, like, this is a little bit Delulu. You may have, like, a distorted perception of reality, a distorted perception of how the situation is, where you're just thinking, like, oh, I just snap my fingers, and it'll all be fine, it'll all be magically fixed. Um, I do feel like this is you, unless you're dealing with another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But you're just like, yeah, let's, let's just move past the hard part. Let's get to the happiness, true emotional happiness. Okay. Let's take a look at the Four of Cups in the near future. Four of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. You're showing me that you want to come in and offer your person a brand new beginning because you do still see them as being the person that you can have a long-term, stable, successful connection with. You view them as a soul connection. And you're coming in and you're like, look, I just want to give you an offer. I just want to offer you my feelings. I want to offer you, like, let's rekindle this. Let's, let's build this long-term connection or soul connection, you know. And again, I do feel like your person is on board or they would be on board. I just don't know if they're on board with, like, skimming past the hard stuff, right? Let's just fast forward to the good stuff. I don't know. I don't know. You would know. Maybe they are. Let's take a look at the Six of Swords in the near future. Six of Swords is clarified by the Three of Pentacles, the Fool, which is the main energy for this reading, and the Seven of Wands. You're showing me that you want to move away from the difficult energy. You want to move towards rebuilding this connection, rebuilding trust, having a new beginning, wiping the slate clean, right? Um, there is resistance here, though. It's not like it's just smooth sailing. Your person is putting up a bit of a fight here, a bit of, like, resistance, so I don't feel... Again, I don't know if like they're putting up the resistance or you're putting up the resistance. I feel like it's them where you're essentially dealing like with some walls. This person is not just like, okay, Aries, let's reconcile. You know, they're not, they're not getting you, taking you back with open arms. Um, there is still an energy here of like you needing to plan things out as to how we can rebuild this trust, how we can rebuild this connection, how we can have this new beginning. But the energy that you want, like the, the direction you want to move in is beautiful. Let's take a look at the Three of Swords in the near future. Three of Swords is clarified by the Four of Cups, which you got here in the near future, the Empress and the Two of Wands. Again, Aries, look, I'm going to be honest. You just... You don't want to deal with the hard stuff. You're looking at this and you're like, this person is my person. They're the person for me. Like, you know, I just want to come in. I want to offer them my love. I want to have this new beginning. We're soul connection. We're divine connection. They're the best thing since sliced bread. And they are. I can see all this. Um, but you're not really willing to work through the hard stuff. And the hard stuff is the emotional pain. The hard stuff is the stuff you want to gloss over. You're literally like, let's, let's, let's. Fast forward the difficult part. Let's get to the good stuff. Can you? I don't know. You tell me. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind, Aries. From the universe, you get the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups. You're feeling the loss of this connection. You're feeling the loss of this person. It's not easy. I can see the pain. And you do want a new beginning with this person, a new beginning in love. You show me the Ace of Cups twice. But there's resistance here, Aries. There's a lot of resistance, and I feel like it's also not only like, you know, getting some pushback from your person, there's a lot of internal resistance for you, and you're resisting looking at the hard stuff, the painful stuff, the emotional, like, baggage turmoil that you don't want to look at because it just hurts too much. So, Aries, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below in the description box and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, Aries, and I'll see you here on the next one.